Before you begin, you should make sure the shop hood is turned on so your workspace is properly ventilated. Next, the proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, should be worn. This includes a flame retardant vest, a welding helmet, and gloves. Now you can turn on the welder and open the gas valve. Adjust the amperage to the thickness of the aluminum you are welding. A good rule of thumb is to adjust the amperage to the thickness of the metal in thousands. Grab a stool and place the pedal on the floor next to you so that you are in a comfortable position. The throttle controls your amperage like the gas pedal on a car. Make sure your ground is clamped to the part you are welding and that the part is secure on the bench. When you begin welding, you strike an arc with a tungsten rod and hold it there just above the surface of the metal until a wet spot appears on the metal. Keep in mind that the closer you are to the metal, the hotter you will be welding. Once the metal appears wet, you can begin adding filler. Make sure that the filler rod is being melted by the puddle, not by the arc. Move along slowly, repeatedly moving the tungsten ahead, adding filler, moving the tungsten ahead, and adding filler. Notice the frequency at which the filler rod is being used. If you see that the puddle is getting too narrow and you are barely penetrating the material, use the pedal to increase your amperage. Likewise, if the puddle is getting wide and it looks like you are beginning to burn through, ease back on the pedal to decrease amperage. It is also important to know that if you are welding two parts of different thicknesses, make sure to direct more of the heat towards the thicker material to ensure sufficient penetration into both materials. Moving the tungsten slightly side to side as you move forward helps to keep both sides bridged by the puddle. Once you are done, make sure to cool the part in sink or allow sufficient time for the part to cool before touching it. 